Hello, this is Mrs. Watkins. I'm here to introduce and tell you about one of our first PEEPS class projects. The name of this first project is called Blueberries for Sal slash Blackberries for All. This class or project is based on one of my favorite books when I was growing up called Blueberries for Sal. It was a uh, Caldecott honor book. And um, just in case you didn't know, uh, libraries now are required to have about, I can't remember the exact percentage, I think it's about 15 to 20 percent of their books are the only percentage of books that can be older than about 15 years old. Um, and so books that are classic books that I used to love when I was growing up and I feel like books that uh, are important connection of a parent to have with their child are no longer being replenished in libraries so when they're lost or torn um, they're not being replaced. Uh, they're, they have changed that or set kind of that policy of the 15 percent of about 15 percent of 15 years uh, or newer because they want to increase the chances of having uh, multiculturally uh, diverse books, politically correct books, and so a lot of the old classic literature is being phased out of public schools libraries and that concerns me because I think uh, having those strong connections with literatures across generations is important and I feel like that's being lost and so uh, that's the one of the main reasons why I've chosen the book Blueberries for Sal. Uh, in our first class, uh, we will be talking about the book, we'll be reading the book Blueberries for Sal and talking about the the uh, themes that are in the book. Just for those of you who aren't familiar with this book, it's a simple story about a little girl named Sal who goes black or blueberry picking with her mother uh, out in Maine and along uh, kind of the parallel story that's happening with that is there's a mother bear and her baby bear who are also going to pick blackberries to store food for winter. So Sal and her mother are going to pick um, blueberries. I'm getting blueberries and blackberries mixed up, so excuse me and uh, kind of, I hope you can follow this. Uh, Sal and her mother are going to pick blueberries in Maine on Blueberry Hill, and they are going to take them home and do some canning. Uh, the mother bear and her baby bear are also going to pick blueberries on Blueberry Hill in Maine to store food for the winter for them. Uh, and in the process, the the two children mix up, get their mothers mixed up, and it's a real cute story. So in, as part of our Blueberries for Sal slash Blackberries for All, we'll be reading the story and discussing the themes in that. And then we're going to come down to Cub Run Creek, because Cub Run Creek has a lot of wild blackberry bushes. Last year, my son Nick and I came down here and we picked uh, picked some of the wild blackberries and um, Nick by the way is my cameraman today so thank you Nick I appreciate you being here uh, we're out here by where we picked blackberries last year and so let me kind of show you we're about a week away from the blackberry season so this and blackberry season is very uh, short quick here so these classes are only going to be offered next week let me kind of show you you can see here some of the uh, they're red we've got a couple berries right over here that are starting to get bigger they'll be just right next week for when it's time for our black blueberries for sal blackberries for all book so we are going to uh, pick some come out and pick some wild blackberries and then we are going to go back to my home and we are going to make blue, uh, blackberry jam together which Nick and I did last year I am this is perfect timing because here is Oops, I just got real oh, okay. Uh, perfect timing because this is my blackberry jam from last year. I made, uh, we made, uh, I think three or four of these last year. And I'm just finishing up going down to the last of my blackberry jam. So the timing's perfect. So we'll be learning to make blackberry jam. We've got our uh, pectin here ready to go. And so we'll be making the blackberry jam. And each uh, student who signs up for this class will be taking home a two cup quart of blackberry jam. Now, that's one part of the class. Something else that I'm kind of curious about, and I don't know the answers, and I'm hoping that my, that my students who take this class can help me investigate. Uh, I'm going to have Nick turn, ara turn around and point out, right over here is, is an area that's covered with mulch. Now, last year, when Nick and I were here picking blackberries, none of this mulch was here. 
this was all covered with blackberry bushes. And so I'm very curious. I don't know why somebody has brought purposely brought in mulch and covered up a lot of these blackberry bushes. I went home because I was very concerned when I saw this earlier. I went home and did some research on the internet. I found out that uh, blackberries, are, wild blackberries are very prone to viruses and these viruses once the plants have them can't be treated. They have to kill the blackberry plants and then uh, replant them. My guess and I don't know is maybe these blackberries had that virus and so the environmentalists who work the Cub Run Creek area here brought this in because if they didn't then that virus would spread to the rest of the blackberry bushes and so I'm wondering if that's really the case and so along with uh, after we make the blackberry jam we'll be going to be doing some follow-up and try and talk, find out who, who the environmentalists are that work the Cub Run Creek area and find out what's happening with uh, the mulch and why the mulch is over some of the best blackberry picking from last year. So I appreciate you listening. Um, I hope that you're excited uh, to sign up and be a part of this class. We'll, I'll be probably doing four or five sessions depending on the demand. Uh, again, we only have about a week's time that is prime blackberry picking, so it will be next week. The class is going to be $15 and will be a two-hour class. I'll probably try and arrange it so that we've got some classes in the daytime and some classes in the evening for uh, those who uh, would prefer evening times. So thank you.